In this video, we're going to learn how to find the area and perimeter of trapezoids. First, let's review what a trapezoid is. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral, so it has four sides, and the definition is it has one pair of parallel sides. So these two sides are parallel. Now to find the perimeter of the trapezoid, all you need to do is add up all four sides because the perimeter of any shape in general is the distance around the shape. So for a trapezoid, it's just like any other shape. You need to know all four sides in order to be able to figure out the perimeter. It's possible that sometimes you might need to use the Pythagorean theorem or some other tool in order to solve for one of those missing sides first, but in general, perimeter just means add up all four sides. Now for area, we're going to try to relate a trapezoid to another shape that we do know. So what we're going to do is draw a trapezoid and label it with some important dimensions. A trapezoid has two bases, base 1 and base 2. It also has a height, which is the distance between the two bases. Now what would happen if I took this trapezoid and copied it and rotated it and pasted it to the right, just like this. Now in this purple trapezoid, base one is now up here and base two is down here and our height is still the same. It's the distance between the two bases. Now what shape have we, we created? If we look at this full shape, it's a long parallelogram. And we know how to find the area of a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is just base times height in general. So in this case, the area of the parallelogram, well, we have to figure out what's the base. So the base would be this full length right here, which would be base one plus base two. So it's B1 plus B2 times the height. So the area of the parallelogram, which is in general base times height, in this case is base 1 plus base 2, because that is our base, times the height. So that means the trapezoid, which is exactly half of this parallelogram, because the parallelogram is made up of two of the trapezoids, the area of the trapezoid will just be base 1 plus base 2 times the height, but then divided by 2, because we only want half. So again, a trapezoid, if we take two trapezoids, we make a parallelogram. So the area of a trapezoid is ha like half the area of a parallelogram. And the reason we have that base 1 and base 2 in our formula right here for the area of a trapezoid is that for the parallelogram, the base of the parallelogram is all the way across here, which is base 1 plus base 2. So remember, if you want to find the area of a trapezoid, you need to know the length of both bases and the length of the height. How you'll compute the area? Add up the bases, multiply by the height, and then divide by 2.